Hey everybody, it's me, the Amazing Gamer DJMC here, and before you ask, this is a Venom Max. I want to talk about one of my favorite YouTubers, and that's Mr. Part himself. Uh, what can I say about Mr. Part? One thing for sure, he is a terrific Spider-Man YouTuber on making what-ifs around the different Spider-Man movies that we love to watch. From the Wayme trilogy to Tasm to the Home trilogy. And I'm just gonna say this, he's a really great guy and he deserves all the praise of the good work he has done over the years. Not only that, I can understand he's probably a little busy at right now, probably maybe this year, maybe. Uh, the last time I talked to him was, shit, I think it was before we found out No Way Home was coming somewhere around 2021, and I keep asking to him, can we talk when you're not busy, and he hasn't replied back a while, which I can understand he's a busy man, I mean, we all get busy once in a while. And I'm just hoping I'm not bugging him as much. Bugging, I should say. But he's a real chill guy, and I respect him for that. He... And he's one of the greatest people I have as a friend. I mean... I was even there somewhat helping him after his channel got hacked, which... Trust me, I was still aggravated when I found that news out. Like, who would hack you, man? I mean, that was just uncalled for. Uh, in fact, I just saw his newest video today, and I gotta say, there were some dark moments right there. Like, a dark arc with the Venom symbiote? I mean, Monster Arc was terrifying with Carnage, but with Venom? Oh my god, that's gonna be a living nightmare. I am sad in the what if, however, that Pete, Toby Maguire's Peter in that reality loses his Aunt May. That's kind of like we say the events that happened in Spider-Man 1 when Peter let the robber go and then somebody closest to him dies. And if I'm probably guessing Max is gonna make a second part to it, because it probably deserves a second part. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I would like to see him if he can make some what ifs around the Venom movies, if he could actually. And uh. I hope Max does continue good work in his videos because I love every minute of it. I love the artworks he uses for the videos. They are amazing. Uh, let's see. And a personal message to you, Max, or as to everybody calls you, Mr. Park. If you're watching this, if, if I'm bugging you in any way or regard, I am sorry. I just hope we can chat real to chat or talk real soon because I miss talking to you, buddy. But I can understand you're busy, but can you at least give me like a heads up once in a while, like uh, saying, "Hey, man, I can't. I'm a little busy. Can we like reschedule or something like that?" And I said, "Yeah, I'm down with that." So like, when I upload this video, I hope. You play comment into it, dude. Because you're one of my all time favorites, and I am lucky enough to have you as a f as one of my best friends. Even though we live technically like from two different countries, like you're in Canada and I live in the United States.
And if there was ever a Comic Con convention in freaking Canada or hell, even fucking somewhere in Vermont, I I hope you're at one of those so I can meet you in person, like face to face. And uh hopefully like, we can hang out somehow someday. So to miss the part, Max Excelsior. And you're one of my best favorite YouTubers I like to watch. I'll uh, catch you guys on the flip side. Hope you like this video, Max.